hey guys welcome back or welcome if you're new so today's video is really a long overdue video it is part four of the half bath from makeover so if you missed the previous videos i'll be sure to link it in the description box or the little eye icon or the little card on the top but instead of kind of walking or talking through what i'm doing i'm really going to be sharing the backstory or like a little story time of how all this started like why i decided to try to learn how to do diy home project and everything like that so pretty much husband michael and i we purchased this home the summer of 2019 and we had no clue or any idea of how to do pretty much anything um so what you'll notice is that if you see like my cleaning videos like this house have a lot of windows and you know what comes with windows yeah you get the natural lighting and everything but you also get a lot of heat and all i really wanted was some curtains to kind of minimize the heat that was coming in and we didn't even know how to do that so a family friend who does like maintenance work on the side was like okay no worries i'll come and install these curtain rods for you well when he got here he was doing the work and i was talking to him and once he was done i was like oh how much are you gonna charge us and he was like look um just just give me some gas money he didn't realize how far we live but i really think he just felt bad trying to take any money from us from from doing something so simple so from there i start to realize okay there could be a couple things that we could do i did want some other big projects that i know we wouldn't be able to afford at that time and some things that we did hire out, what I quickly learned about hiring people, sometimes they're not the most professional. And realistically, I feel like no one's gonna care more about your space than yourself. And um, another thing that I noticed about these contractors are they they do the work, even if they're, they do a great job, they do the work, they walk away with your money, their tools and their skills. And if you want something else done, you have to pay for it or, you know, go to somebody else and figure it out. So I quickly learned that and I was just like, there could be some things that we could do our, on our own. So fast forward, I start going into Google, searching different things. And of course, I get on YouTube. I don't know why I didn't think of that before when I go to YouTube to kind of search different things. And I start going down like this rabbit hole of looking of a variety of different videos of how to do some home projects. And I had so many different ideas, but I was very skeptical because we have never done anything. I don't even think at that point we had a drill. We didn't know where to start. And I think this is now 2020. We all know what happened in 2020. And I really wanted to start on a project. I didn't know what, I didn't know where I was gonna start or anything like that. And as I was cleaning the half bath, it wasn't like a space that we really use frequently. I thought that the toilet was leaking, but I wanted Michael to check. He was like, no, I think it's fine. And over time he realized, okay, yeah, you're right, it is leaking. So now we had this issue that needed to be fixed. Well, for us to do that, we would have to hire a plumber and all that. Well, I took advantage of that opportunity and I said, hey, why, why don't we try to do it ourselves, you know? And as I'm saying that though, like fear starts to creep in because if we make any mistake, that would be the way I looked at it, it would be more costly, you know, to possibly mess up a new toilet or remove a toilet and we don't know what to do from there. So I started watching more YouTube videos and I was already watching other things like pertaining to like home projects and stuff like that. And I don't know how YouTube recommended this channel to me, but I'm so happy that they did. They recommended the DIY Power Couple. And I can't tell you how many videos I have watched on their channel. And I just kept on watching different things. And I saw all those things that they were able to complete. And I was just like, wow, okay, it could be possible. But I was still very scared because in my mind, any mistake would, would be costly to us. So for another year, I just continued to watch videos and never act on it. We didn't really use the bathroom, so it wasn't terrible that it, the toilet did leak a little bit. But um, 2021 came and I was just like, okay, I got to do something. And I kept on watching the DIY Power Couple videos. And I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Don't laugh at me. But I was scared to comment at one point under their videos. And when I finally did, I was going back and forth commenting under this channel. And then I commented on using my old channel that I had years ago. And they quickly find out it was me. <laughs> I don't know how, but they quickly find out it was me. And 
they would answer any and every question that I had and I didn't even know anything about the pill and stick that's what I'm actually using in this video I never heard of it never seen it nothing and they shared that on their channel they have so many videos and that's what I followed that's how I end up getting these floors completed in this bathroom and at the end of every video it's like their mantra where they say um, and remember you can DIY too and if you hear something long enough you'll start to believe it uh, you know I really believe that now you'll start to believe what you hear um, so I you know I went to their Instagram and I thank them and I showed them like the final product of the half bath so I feel like if I can thank them privately I can thank them publicly because I don't think if it wasn't for them and also a few other people on YouTube, I would have learned these skill sets that I have now. And, you know, the part of DIY project is, yes, you get to save money and you get to do things on your own. But I think for me, what's the most or the best takeaway is I now have these skills that I can pass down to my boys. I mean, I couldn't do anything. I didn't even know how to use a drill. So for me to be able to do the stuff that I'm able to do now and I'm still learning, I'm just forever grateful to them. And I, I don't think I talk a lot or share enough, but when I like something or someone or somebody tell or share or help me in any way, I'm going to tell anybody that have ears and willing to listen. So that's part of the backstory of how this whole, you know, bathroom makeover has started just watching them and other creators on youtube that was willing to share what they know for free what they know for free and they really answered all my questions and i'm i'm gonna be forever grateful so i just wanted to share that So just some takeaways that I wanted to share from completing this project, things that I really learned and or was reminded of really is things are not going to be perfect, but they'll definitely be better than what they were before. Um, you're going to make a ton of mistakes, but you're going to learn from them and just get better over time. Um, I talked about how I didn't turn off the, the hot water completely when I was removing the faucet. And you can only imagine Hubs and Michael running out of the house to turn off the water completely. And I'm just here trying to figure out how do I stop this? So, you know, things like that will happen. And it's just really how you respond to it. That's something that I learned. And another thing that I learned is kind of building up on the skills that you already have. There's things that you probably already know how to do or you do really well that you can use to um, transition to doing different things. I didn't know how to do home projects or anything like that, but I knew how to craft. So if I needed to grab my craft mat or my ruler, that's what I did. If I needed to cut a paper as a template before I did anything, that's what I did. And just being able to just take a chance, that was the thing that was really holding me back. Just so fearful of trying different things. And that's like the big takeaway from completing this project and you don't really see Hudson Michael and he liked to give me all the credit for completing this project by myself but I really didn't he was right there he would stay up with me he was my cameraman or he was just right there to lend a hand and all the measurements for the most part he did them because I'm not really good in math so Hudson Michael if you're watching this video which I know you are thank you so much and I love you and I can't wait for us to do our next project okay
So when it was time to install the toilet, fear creeped in again. And that was really like the last big thing that we needed to complete for the bathroom to kind of be ready. Um, and again, YouTube came through and recommended me to Tanya's YouTube channel. Her channel name is from her workshop. And I'm going to um, put all these information down in the description box. You know, I like to credit my sources but she is so sweet and i actually waited for her to respond to my comment before i move forward to installing the toilet because with watching so many different videos you come across different things that people use and i saw that people were using this like wax free um wax free like rubber ring or something and i wanted her opinion because i saw all the stuff that she was able to complete in her home and i had trust her enough at that point of watching her videos that whatever she said would probably be the best decision to go with and that's exactly what i did so i do want to thank tanya so much for that i also shared the bathroom with her through her ig because again i always want to thank people for any help any assistance that they provide me so i really want to thank tanya so much for that because i don't think i would have been able to install the toilet where there's no leak or anything without her guidance so thank you so much for that It's not as bad as when we try to remove it and that thing was, um, how do you call that? Yeah. 
Yo, this looks good. I did it. Install a toilet. Looks really nice. Such an upgrade from the one that was originally here. How do you feel about it, babe? Looks good. Yeah? Two more to go, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 